Welcome to the Communal First Saturdays Online. Statistics show that we are living in a time of greatest apostasy, or, in other words, greatest falling away from the Church. At Fatima, Our Lady said the dogma of the faith will always be preserved in Portugal. The Fatima message has preserved the faith there. The First Saturday's devotion, an essential part of the Fatima message, is an essential part of the plan to preserve the Catholic faith on earth. So that means we need to practice the First Saturdays as Our Lady requested. This video will help you do this. So it is important to continue viewing the video. If you can't this month, we encourage you to plan to come back next month and follow along. It is easier to pray together and there is power in prayer together. If you have participated in previous months and or already understand the reason for the First Saturdays and the Communal First Saturdays, you can fast forward to around the four minute mark to begin the devotion. At Fatima, Our Lady promised a period of peace and the salvation of many souls if a sufficient number of people fulfill the first Saturdays. In 1926, the child Jesus asked Sister Lucia if the first Saturdays had been spread throughout the world. We should all answer this question. The following program is based on the Communal First Saturdays book with Imprimatur. You can just follow along and try to make the First Saturdays together with others online. Let's keep in mind the power of prayer together with the words of Pope St. John the Twenty-Third. Clearly, the most efficacious kind of prayer for gaining the divine protection is prayer that is offered publicly by the whole community. For our Redeemer said, where two or three are gathered. Since we may not be able to visibly gather together at church, we can try to approach this as far as possible online together. To fulfill the first Saturdays, each of the following needs to be done in reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. 1. Confession 2. Pray the Rosary 3. Receive Holy Communion and 4. Fulfill a separate 15-minute meditation on the Mysteries of the Rosary in Our Lady's Company. This video can help you do all of this. However, you would still need to physically go to confession and Mass. For those of us who are unable to go to confession and receive Holy Communion because of illness or some other good reason, we should make the intention to take part in these sacraments as soon as possible. This video is structured as follows. We offer some important information regarding confession. Then, we continue with the communal order of devotion, which includes introductory prayers, the rosary, and for those of us who are unable to receive Holy Communion due to illness or some other good reason, we present an opportunity to make a spiritual communion and make our offering in reparation to the hearts of Jesus and Mary. For those of us who can receive Holy Communion, we can also take part in the spiritual communion. We continue with the 15-minute scripture meditation on the mysteries of the Rosary in Our Lady's Company in a communal form of Lexio Divina. And then we conclude with the Pilgrim Virgin Statue and, and Brown Scapular Reception. Sister Lucia asked Jesus if it would be all right to go to confession within eight days. Jesus replied, Yes, and it could be longer still, provided that, when they receive me, they are in the state of grace and have the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We can pray the following prayer and make the act of contrition with the intention of going to confession as soon as possible. The words that are essential to a perfect act of contrition are underlined. Prayer Before Act of Contrition My God, I know that I must be in the state of grace to fulfill the first Saturdays. 
Please grant that I may be sorry for offending you, and that I may make a perfect act of contrition for all of my sins, so that I can try to make a spiritual communion in the state of grace. I intend to go to confession as soon as possible. I offer my confession in reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Act of Contrition My God, I am deeply sorry in my heart for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to sin no more, to do penance, and to avoid the occasions of sin. Amen. Good morning. We will now begin the communal order of devotion and liturgy. Please turn your books to page 10. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The child Jesus said to Sister Lucia, have compassion on the heart of your most holy mother covered with the thorns with which ungrateful men pierce it at every moment and there is no one to remove them with an act of reparation. Our Lady then said, My daughter, look at my heart surrounded with the thorns with which ungrateful men pierce it at every moment by their blasphemies and ingratitude. You at least try to console me and say that I promise to assist at the hour of death which all the graces necessary for salvation all those who on the first Saturday of five consecutive months go to confession and receive Holy Communion, recite five decades of the rosary, and keep me company for a quarter of an hour while meditating on the mysteries of the rosary with the intention of making reparation to me. Sister Lucia later asked Jesus if it would be all right to go to confession within eight days. And Jesus replied, Yes, and it could be longer still, provided that when they receive me, they are in the state of grace and have the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Intentions for the, for the communal first Saturdays. Please join me in making the following intention for the, follow, for the communal first Saturdays. To go to confession with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. To receive Jesus with love and Holy Communion with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. To pray the Rosary with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. To keep Our Lady company while meditating for 15 minutes on the mysteries of the Rosary with the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. For the grace to practice and fulfill our Lord and Our Lady's request for the five first Saturdays, and to continue to practice them for the salvation of others and peace in the world. That we may intend to make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for all the offenses against her, and in particular for the five offenses against her, namely, those sins against her Immaculate Conception, virginity, divine motherhood, and spiritual maternity, children's love for her, 
and her sacred images, that the reparation we make to the Immaculate Heart of Mary may console her and the Sacred Heart of Jesus, that all of our sufferings and the many sufferings throughout the world, past, present, and future, may help to serve as reparation to the hearts of Jesus and his mother, that we may gain any indulgences offered by Holy Mother Church. Prayers before the Rosary, the Fatima prayers. Let us say the Fatima prayers together. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles throughout the world, in reparation for the outrageous, sacrilegious, and indifference by which he is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. O oh, most holy trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. O oh, Jesus, this is for love of you, for the conversion of sinners, for the Holy Father, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Sweetheart of Mary, be my salvation. Act of consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Heavenly Father, you so loved us that you sent your only begotten Son who emptied himself, taking the form of a slave in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary by the power of the Holy Spirit for our salvation. Grant that as Jesus made a total gift of himself in his sacrifice on the cross, we may make a total return of ourselves to you through the sacred heart of your Son and with the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Loving Jesus, grant that we may renew our personal consecration to you this day, a consecration that began with our baptism. By that same baptism, we acknowledge that we are totally yours, and all we have is yours. Help us, loving Savior, to renew our baptismal promises, to reject Satan, to reject sin, and to profess the Catholic faith no matter what the cost. May we serve you by our baptismal anointing as priest, prophet, and king through the intercession of the maternal heart of your mother. You have given her to us as our own, that we may offer to you a perfect and immaculate heart. Loving Mother, we entrust to your immaculate heart our entire being, body and soul, and all that we have internal and external. Through your maternal mediation and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, join us to the heart of your Son, so that through him we may come to the Father. Loving Jesus and Mary, grant that we may also fulfill your request for the first Saturdays. In this way, we hope, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, to obtain world peace and the salvation of souls, including our own. Amen. Act of reparation to Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Most Holy Virgin Mother, we listen with grief to the pleas of your child concerning your Immaculate Heart, surrounded with the thorns placed therein at every moment by the blasphemies and ingratitude of humanity. We are moved by the ardent desire of loving you as our Mother and of promoting a true devotion to your Immaculate Heart, especially by these communions of reparation. We therefore kneel before you to manifest the sorrow we experience for the grievances that we've caused you and to atone by our prayers and sacrifices for the offenses which have pierced your heart and the heart of your son. 
Obtain for all of us the pardon of so many sins. Hasten the conversion of us sinners that we may love Jesus and cease to offend the Lord, who is already so much offended. Turn your eyes of mercy toward us that we may love God with all our hearts on earth and enjoy him forever in heaven. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. Hail Joseph, shadow of the Father, guardian of the Redeemer, and protector of the way that leads to and through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your true spouse. Please ask the Father to give us efficacious graces through the heart of Jesus and by the Holy Spirit. Obtain by the intercession of the heart of Mary that we may faithfully fulfill Jesus and Mary's request. Please present our offerings to and through the Immaculate Heart of Mary in reparation for the sins which have offended her and her son. Inspire us to fulfill and spread the first Saturdays everywhere so that many souls will be rescued from sin and be brought to eternal life. Grant also, as you bless the world at Fatima with the child Jesus, the Lamb of God, you bless us and help us to build and maintain the civilization of love and peace which Our Lady has promised as the victory of her Immaculate Heart. For you are the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time. He set you over all his possessions. Thus, we too wish to be entrusted entirely to your care as members of your household for the honor and glory of the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Amen. Prayer for protection of conscious rights and religious liberty. Father, we praise you and thank you for your most precious gifts of human life and human freedom. Touch the hearts of our lawmakers with the wisdom and courage to uphold conscious rights and religious liberty for all. Protect all people from being forced to violate their moral and religious convictions. In your goodness, guard our freedom to live out our faith and to follow you in all that we do. Give us strength to be bold and joyful witnesses. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Invocations of the Patrons of the Communal First Saturdays. St. Michael the Archangel. St. Mary Magdalene. St. Dominic. St. Catherine of Siena. St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Anthony of Padua. St. John Mary Vianney. St. Padre Pio. St. John Paul II. Saints Jacinta and Francisco. All you angels and saints of God. Please turn your books to page 15. We will now pray the rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. The Immaculate Heart of Mary is filled with joy over the resurrection of her Son. Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy and faith in you, Jesus Christ. The Second Glorious Mystery the ascension of Jesus into heaven. The heart of Mary rejoices at the ascension of her Son to the right hand of the Father, and yet her heart yearns to be with her Son. While he blessed them, he parted from them, and was carried up into heaven, 
and they worshipped him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy, and hope in you, Jesus Christ. The third glorious mystery the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Mary and the Apostles. The heart of Mary obtains from the heart of Jesus that the graces of the Holy Spirit fill the hearts of the Apostles and those who form the Church. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The Fourth Glorious Mystery, The Assumption of Mary into Heaven Jesus draws his mother, body and soul, into heaven, and so the heart of Mary is joined to the heart of Jesus in beholding the beatific vision. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy and salvation. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Mary as queen of heaven and earth. Jesus is the king of Mary's heart and our hearts also, while Mary is the queen of Jesus' heart and our hearts as well. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy and the mediation of the heart of Mary. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee, that meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, 
of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Special Petitions Almighty God, please receive the suffering of all humanity in all times in reparation to the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That reparation be made to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for the offenses against the Immaculate Conception, her perpetual virginity, her motherhood of God and mankind, her place in children's hearts, and her sacred images. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, relief for all those who are afflicted, for the souls in purgatory, and for eternal salvation for those whom the Lord calls to himself. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, and that he may give a new impetus to the first Saturday's liturgy and devotion of reparation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection of the priests and religious ministering to the sick, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the health care workers taking care of the sick, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those with economic hardships, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful may recognize that there is something far worse than disease, which is the disease of sin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of abortion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The holy sacrifice of the Mass is offered in reparation for sin. The Communion of Reparation To fulfill the first Saturdays, one should physically receive Holy Communion on the first Saturday. However, some may be unable to receive Holy Communion due to serious reasons such as illness. In any case, we can all make an act of spiritual communion now with the intention of receiving Holy Communion in reparation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us recall the angel's third appearance to the Fatima children. He asked the children to make reparation while receiving Holy Communion. Before and after giving them Holy Communion, he said the following prayer. We can imitate the angel and the children by using the same prayer to offer up our communion in reparation for the sins against the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles throughout the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrages, and indifference 
by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. We may also wish to say the next two Fatima prayers as well. O Most Holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. O Jesus, this is for love of you, for the conversion of sinners, for the Holy Father, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The meditation will begin in a moment for those who wish to complete the First Saturdays in a communal form. We will be using the Communal First Saturdays devotional book, this book. Please turn your book to page 27 to follow along, or you can follow along with the text on the screen. Now, in praise and thanksgiving to the Father for his Son present within us in the Holy Eucharist, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, we will keep Our Lady company for 15 minutes while meditating on at least two mysteries of the Rosary in an adapted form of Lectio Divina with the intention of making reparation to her Immaculate Heart. Before and after reading one or more scripture verses, I will ask a question. These questions will be announced out loud three separate times to help us learn. Otherwise, we should ask them silently after each scripture reading. As in Acts chapter 8, Philip guided the eunuch in understanding the scripture. How much more can our Blessed Mother guide us in understanding the scripture? With each reading, we will ask our Blessed Mother, who is full of the Holy Spirit, to help us understand the scripture. Pope Benedict XVI confirmed this approach by saying, Let us now allow her, our mother and teacher, to guide us in reflecting on the word of God that we have just heard. Our meditation will now begin. Hail Mary, full of grace, obtain for us the grace of the Holy Spirit to grasp the meaning of the word of God and to be transformed by it. In keeping you company, lead us to Jesus within, and please accept our meditations and ourselves in reparation for the sins which have offended your Immaculate Heart. Let us close our eyes and call to mind that we are in Our Lady's company. Let Our Lady lead us to Jesus. Let us first consider the following words of Scripture regarding the child Jesus. After three days they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Please turn to page 89. We will now meditate on the third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the gospel, beginning with Luke 16, 19. O oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say? There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with the sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. O oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say to us personally? O 
O Blessed Mother, what does this scripture say? When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his table. O oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say to us personally? And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you, a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours or from your side to ours. He said, Then I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. We will now meditate on the second sorrowful mystery, the scourging of Jesus at the pillar, beginning with Matthew 27, 24. O oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say? So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this righteous man's blood. See to it yourselves. O oh, Blessed Mother, what does the scripture say to us personally? And all of the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scored Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. We now continue with passages from Isaiah 53. Who has believed what we have heard? 
And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or comeliness that we should look at him and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we seemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was a chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. And as for his generation, who consider that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people? And they made his grave with the wicked and with the rich man in his death, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of God to bruise him. He has put him to grief. When he makes himself an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring. He shall prolong his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his land. He shall see the fruit of the travail of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities.
Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul to death, and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. We will now meditate on the third sorrowful mystery, the crowning of Jesus with thorns, beginning with Matthew 27, 27. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him. And plaiting a crown of the thorns, they put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spat upon him, and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe, and put his own clothes on him, and led him away to crucify him. We now continue with passages from Isaiah 50. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to the smitters, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from the shame and spitting. For the Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put into shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will content me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Behold, all of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. To continue, please turn to prayer on page 28 in your book. Now, after meditating on the scripture, what do we say to the Lord in response to his word? Let us pray together with Our Lady. Behold, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to thy word. Let us pause to pray silently.
Now we contemplate the following question in light of our meditation on the mysteries of the rosary. What conversion of mind, heart, and life is the Lord asking of us? In Mary's company, let us silently turn our loving gaze to Jesus in the midst of the Father and the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. Now, let us imitate the action of Our Lady after receiving of the Word made flesh, as together we say, In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country. Also let us say together, We make our life a gift for others in charity. This concludes our communal meditation in Our Lady's company. We will now pray the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please turn your books to page 30. Let us invoke Our Lady in praise and thanksgiving for inviting us to keep her company during our meditation on the mysteries of the rosary. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ, have mercy, mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ hear us. Christ, Christ graciously Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy, have mercy on, on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray, pray for, for us. us. Holy Mother of God, pray, pray, pray for, for us. us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant unto us all the holy service, that we beseech thee, O Lord our God, at all times to enjoy the health of soul and body, 
and by and the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, when freed from the sorrows of this present life, to enter into that joy which hath no end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Intentions to gain any indulgences and prayers for the intentions of the Holy Father. Let us make the intention to gain any indulgences granted by the Church for ourselves and the souls in purgatory. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, Father who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, we as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou among women, and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now we will have the reception of the Pilgrim Virgin statue with a reenactment of the mystery of the visitation. As we just heard, the action step after the Lectio Divina is to go out and perform a work of charity. After receiving the Word made flesh, Mary did this by going in haste to the hill country to visit her elderly cousin who was with child. Before we begin, let us try to think of the Pilgrim Virgin statue coming from the sanctuary to the foot of the sanctuary as representing Our Lady's journey from Nazareth to the house of Zechariah on a mission of mercy. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a city of Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his posterity forever. Please present the Pilgrim Virgin statue to the next host.
receive the Pilgrim Virgin statue. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home. As Our Lady brought Jesus into the home of Elizabeth and Zechariah, and by the Holy Spirit, Elizabeth acknowledged the real presence of Jesus and Mary. So now, Our Lady wishes to bring the Sacred Heart of Jesus into our homes, and then bring us back to the real presence of Jesus in the Mass. Please turn your books to page 104 for the recessional hymn, Immaculate Mary. You may follow behind the procession if you wish. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor. After the Pilgrim Virgin Statue reception, the faithful ordinarily can have the opportunity to receive the brown scapular as a sign of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. This is a reception, not an enrollment into the confraternity. Also, Sister Lucia understood the scapular to be inseparable from the rosary. Since the rosary is an essential part of the first Saturdays, it seems fitting that the brown scapular is made available to those who wish to receive it. Thank you for joining us. Please join us again next month on the first Saturday. Be sure to mark your calendar. If you would like a prayer card to take with you to Mass to help you offer your Holy Communion in reparation for the sins against the hearts of Jesus and Mary, you may download the card from the link provided in the description of this video. If you would like any of our devotional materials or other books, you can visit our store at www.communalfirstsaturdays.org forward slash store. If you would like to start the Communal First Saturdays in your parish, please click the link provided in the description of this video. If you would like to receive important updates and related information, please subscribe to our newsletter. We will be producing more videos for each First Saturday which will provide different readings. Please like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please consider supporting us as we produce more videos. If you can support us, please click on the donate link provided in the description of this video. For more information, please go to communalfirstsaturdays.org or click the link in the description of this video.